Hello everyone. I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, named instances and how to connect to them. So SQL Server has kind of a unique feature which allows you to install more than one copy of the SQL Server database engine on your machine. When you do so, only the first copy will be connectable by the name of your computer. So this is the default instance, and I could just type in the name of my computer in there. Um, if you wanted to, you can replace the name of your computer with something more generic. So I'll, I'll come back to that in just a bit. But um, if you install it a second time or a third time, you'll have to give it a unique identifier, and that unique identifier makes it what's called a named instance. These are two additional installations on my computer. This is a 2017 installation. The current one I'm using is 2019. And a SQL Express installation. And these are completely separate from each other. So if I want to connect to one, it doesn't allow, it doesn't connect me to all of them. I have to come over and connect to each one independently. Notice that the connection is going to be with a backward slash, not a forward slash like on the internet. It's This is a network thing, so it uses a backslash instead of a forward slash. Did I spell express wrong? Probably. Express. Uh, it's not case sensitive. I just spelled something wrong. Okay. <clears throat> now, under databases, I can see that there's a system database folder and some other another database snapshot folder. I'm gonna make a brand new database. I'll call it um, Demo 2017. This is just a database. And I'm calling it demo 2017 so you can see it show up under my 2017 instance. That doesn't mean it's going to show up under my default instance because they're completely separate pieces of software. It's not in there. I can refresh this all day long. It's not going to show up in there. It's not in the other installation either because each installation is completely unique to itself. So that that is different. You can install the, the software multiple times and each one is a standalone piece of software. I think that's why people get confused. As I mentioned, um, you don't have to put in the name of your computer. You could actually go ahead and use the word localhost. And that's a stand-in for your computer. If I use localhost, keep in mind that I can also use localhost with the ins uh, named instance name. I can also use localhost or a single period. I do that sometimes because, well, it's easy to type and I can't misspell it. Or, and this one's kind of weird, local with parentheses. I'm not sure why they thought we needed parentheses for that one, but okay. Let's take a look at what we have here. Let me get back there. Woo! There we go. Okay, so this is the name of my computer, and localhost is an alias for the name of my computer. So is a dot. So is the word local with parentheses. These are all the same thing. <clears throat> but if I put a slash there, it means that it's, it's part of the named instance. So these two, local R uh, R laptop one and um, the named instance of SQL 2017 and localhost SQL 2017, those are the same thing. Uh, so is the one with a dot. So is the one's word local. 
those four are the same thing. And as such, if I open them up, you can expect that demo 2017 database to be in there because it's the same thing. It's just using a different name to make the connection. This is what is called an alias. People can have an alias. It doesn't mean that their original name has changed. It's just another way to call them by. And that's what we're using here. These are localhost, dot, and local, in parentheses, are aliases. So hopefully that will clear up things about what a named instance is. And uh, I thank you for watching.